cassette case. Batmobile. Potty mouth. Or Sam. I like how that opens when you, uh, look clever. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is, like, instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour, and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape, and said, you have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. Well, okay. <laughs> Getting a little bit more insight to Sam. I'm guessing that's going to be her room. So we've got this notes spot up here. Sam, stop leaving every damn light in the house on. It was bad as your sister. Yeah, I've been pretty bad for that. I'm going to have to start at least leaving the main hall ones on. And none of the others. Daniel wants his Nintendo game back. Look at this strongly worded letter. To whom it may concern. I, Samantha Greenbrier, am 17 years old. And therefore an independent, fully functional human being. The fact that you still forbid me from going into city on my own is frankly absurd. Compare with Casey, who is only three years older than me, and yet you allowed her to go all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own. I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe city on my own, like a human being. Since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you can't really stop me. Warm well, misregards, your daughter, Samantha. Oh, I wonder if she got what she wanted. Well, she's not here, so... I can only presume. Wow, this does look like Sam's room. What have we got here? God, that's a that's an old stereo. Oh, look at the drawers. Batmobile, cool schmuel. Should we have a listen? Not sure how much of this is actually real, but uh, got there beside it. Uh, so we've got a cartridge here for Adventure the Adventurous the Cat. It's a terrible name. Returns. It can't be that bad if we got a sequel. And we've got some uh, <laughs> we've got some of the move codes here for Chun Li. That's brilliant. That takes me back. Uh, turn the TV off. Nintendo's gone. So I wonder if somebody took it. Hi Lonnie, I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker on the way to second. It's what all the cool kids are doing, I've decided. Write me back, also here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good idea. What all the cool kids are actually doing is sending each other pages on their beepers. But we're cooler than them because guess what? They can't put this on a beeper. <laughs> Look at that. That is a nifty drawing. Your drawing of cats was so good that I added a background to make it even better. Maybe I should just stick to writing though. Aha, I like it. How did you know they were about to be abducted by aliens? I'm looking at Mr. Fish right now. I feel like he would probably have lots of cats. Also, like his secret shame is he watches 90210 religiously. I'll ask him about it after class. He said he doesn't have cats and also that he's never watched 90210, but I could see in his eyes he was lying. Sam, I think the creative writing track would be perfect for you. So, Sam... English creative writing... Three students from each track would be offered a full scholarship at their first year at Reed. Sounds like, um... She's nearing the end of high school, and, uh... She's starting to follow in her father's footsteps a little bit, with creative writing. What have we got here? Ah, oh, some classics. Ben-Hur, Tom Sawyer... The Virginian... Call of the Wild, War of the Worlds. Fantastic. Um, just pick that up. There we go. May as well tidy up a bit while I'm here. I'm not going to tidy everything, but 
Disciplinary referral. Ah, DeSoto. That was the name on... Uh, where was that name? We've seen that name before already. Mr. Benchley observed Mr. Soto wearing a t-shirt with an unacceptable image on the front. A large beer can labelled Pabst Blue Women. Mr. Soto was sent to the guidance counselor's office. Mr. Soto was given the option to turn her shirt inside out, change it to a shirt from a gym locker, or be suspended for the rest of the day. Mr. Soto chose suspension. Her father was called, but there's no answer, no answering machine. Mr. Soto must return this form tomorrow, signed by her father. So it's L Lonnie. Oh, I see. So Lonnie is Yolanda de Soto. Right. Just looking at the pins and that, it's just slightly wonky. I want to try and sort it out if possible. Um, this is a bed. Roof magazine. Uh, another Groove magazine. Ah, this is Kurt Cobain's death, of course. It's very um, good at kind of depicting the, the period. The brochure. This is the one me and my dad are building. I want to go for a ride when it's done. Wow, that's cool. So, my dad's into redoing motorcycles as well? Unless it's uh, Lonnie's dad. So this is a locker. I like the cat. Wow. Uh, what else have we got here? To make sure I turn off some of these lights as well. That's chapter two. So I'm not going to read all that, but what I'll do is I'll just pause for a moment on each of the screens, so if you're watching the uh, replay of this, you can pause and read this for yourself. I would normally read all of this, but I'll probably read it back over in my own video, just for the uh, in the interest of brevity. A board game called Got Your Number. Are you going to dance with anyone? like how it's held, held together with uh, elastic bands. That's... Um, so accurate. That's very colourful. Is that a colourful? Oh, it's a bunny. Look at that bunny playing keyboard. I like it. And a collar for Mitten. It's got the old house address on, so I'm guessing Mitten's no longer with us. I haven't seen any of the signs of a cat either. Ooh. One of those magic eye things. If you uh, pause this now, I don't know if that would actually work on a computer screen. I can't do it, unfortunately, but. Uh... Same with that one. It's pretty cool. Journey of Crystal. I don't believe these are real games. I think that might cause a bit of a licensing issue. Uh. Should we uh, turn it off for a second? Wow, that's creepy. Let's head out. Now let's just have a look see where we are on the map. We came in here, and now we're in this corridor here. So we've still got that room to check out there, which is this one here. This is the corner we came round. This looks like the parents' bedroom. Mum's purse. So we can maybe rifle through that. Not for money, of course, that would be wrong. Another postcard, this is probably from us. Yep. Dear Mum, Dad and Sam, I am in the channel. This is my second passage through the channel. I'm on my way back from London, this time going to Brussels, Belgium. Sorry I didn't write you on the way to London, but I was too excited about the channel. London was great. Dad, I know you've always wanted to visit, and I think you really should. You'd love it. If you all wanted to come back as a family sometime, I guess I could be convinced. Love you all. So she did London, she did Belgium. Should probably be a little bit wary about going through um, parents' bedside cabinet, but uh, there we go. Unknown dimension. Unknown dimension literature. 
So it's for a publisher's business card. Hmm, they left in a hurry. Lots of things are missing. It's a shame that these all look so 2D. It's a little better, but... Oh, they had a TV in here. Again! Video player's gone. Lots more classics. Bridge of the River Kwai. Butch Casty and the Sundance Kid. The Fugitive. All the President's Men. It's like every good film made before 95, 96, basically. Oh, Mitten. Mittens. Our oh, cats. This is what, uh... Caitlin did when she was five, apparently. It's a very good drawing. Clearly meant to be an artist. Should have opened those before already. Put those back. That one's not going back. Have oh, a quick look in here, shall we? The old, like, his and hers, uh, sinks. More plasters. Shaving cream and a toothbrush. They didn't take the toothbrushes, which and the way they left the room looks like they were in a massive rush, but not worried about things like after the honeymoon. We're discovering your spouse personally, spiritually, and sexually. <laughs> yeah, let's leave that there. Pretend we didn't see it. It's a light switch. There we go. Now I know the electrics are dodgy. I'm trying not to overload any circuits. Watercolour techniques. It's uh, a little less risque. The ghost game. Escape from Ghost Mansion. Avoid the ghosts of Ghost Mansion and make your escape with your wits intact. Intriguing. Oops. Oops, if I don't put it upside down. A few of the shades you may encounter. The brothers, the cowboy, the widow. I don't want to be playing a spooky game right now. So, is there anything to do with it? So the bed doesn't look like it's been slept in either. Earth, wind and fire? Okay, so we've been in that door on... Oh, she's got a large bedroom, by the way. Oh, what's this? Hey Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? Came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it, so either it's good or we can make fun of him for liking it. My mum is supposed to cook dinner for us tonight for a change, but I can just ditch it on it, probably. What time? Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to bath? According to Todd, it's pretty hardcore. I guess Suma Furman gets stabbed in the heart of a heroin needle, so that's kind of hilarious. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Todd wants to see it again. 7.15, okay? Don't bath. Ah, uh -huh, alright, see you then. <laughs> uh, cheeseburger barfing. 